Hey guys, it's Michael from Foundation Fitness. I was out doing some yard work today, beautiful day out, and I had some fitness ideas as I was moving some pavers with my wheelbarrow. Um, got some ideas for a leg activity, a back activity, and a shoulder activity. And as you guys know from some of my past videos, I'm always a big fan incorporating fitness into my household chores, as you've seen in some of my laundry videos where I do some single leg squats. Today, I'm going to show you a wheelbarrow squat. Nice thing about this is that that single point of that wheel on the front of the wheelbarrow is also going to incorporate some core stability and some balance for your torso to make sure you're keeping your center of gravity over your base of support. So let's start with the squat activity. So all you're going to do is get down into the squat position. Make sure your ankles, knees, and hips are aligned as we always start. And then we're just going to pop right up. Down nice and slow. Driving up with the legs, make sure you're driving through those heels. You should feel that in your glutes, in your hamstrings, and in your quads as you're coming up. Keep your stomach tight, keep your torso and your posture really straight. Good posture. Kill two birds with one stone. A little bit of yard work, a little bit of fitness, especially now that the gyms are closed. Try to find your fitness wherever you can get it. Right here with the wheelbarrow is a good place to start. Video number two for my wheelbarrow workout is a back activity, or actually two back exercises. The first one I'm going to show you is a shoulder retraction, very similar to a cobra activity, where you're squeezing your shoulder blades together, getting some work for the middle portion of your back through the middle and lower trapezius. And then right from there, I'm going to turn around and do a wheelbarrow row, a bent over row, also to work the uh, middle and lower trapezius. To start this one, all you're gonna do, pick the wheelbarrow up, make sure your posture is nice and straight, your ankles are through your knees and through your hips, so your kinetic chain is aligned, and then all you're gonna do, and you're gonna activate this exercise, or start this activity with your shoulder blades and just pull back. And then let wheelbarrow roll forward, roll forward. Pull back and forward, back and forward. And the motion is from squeezing your shoulder blades together. You're trying to just use your arms as an anchor for the wheelbarrow and let them hang there and make sure the movement is initiated by squeezing your shoulder blades together. And you're really gonna start to feel that right in the middle portion of your back and even in your rear delt a little bit. So it's really good for that. The next activity I'm gonna show you to build on this is a bent over row using the wheelbarrow as well. Hey guys, the second activity we're gonna do for the back is a bent over row. We're gonna use the wheelbarrow again for this activity. Squeezing the shoulder blades together as we're bent over or in the middle and lower trapezius. As I mentioned in the prior video, my wheelbarrow only has one wheel. So it's gonna wobble a little bit, so I had to stabilize that. The way I'm gonna do that is making sure my supporting muscles of my transverse abdominis are strong, my erector spinae are strong as well, maintaining good alignment and good posture through my torso as I do this. So I'm just gonna get into my stance, ankles, knees, hips are aligned. You're gonna try to make sure that you are balanced with that wheelbarrow so you're rowing evenly on both sides as best you can. Really work in the middle and lower portion of the trapezius muscles. Try to be even. That single point on that wheelbarrow makes it a little difficult, but try to balance yourself, keep yourself steady, keep yourself level. Try it at home. Hey guys, so I know I said I had two for back, but I actually have three exercises for back. My daughter Sarah said, hey dad, you know that exercise where you lift the weight up off the ground? Can you do this one here? And she's very bright because yes, you can do that here. So when I tried to do a deadlift at first off the ground, I was hitting the ground. So what I did was I took a couple of pavers, put myself up a little higher, so now if I'm standing up, I can get down 
get my handles just like I would with a deadlift with a hex bar. So my hands are in a neutral position. And now I'm just going to squat down, come up, and do my deadlift and squeeze my shoulder blades together. So obviously, as you do this with your deadlift, first thing you want to do is engage your back muscles. So when you grab those handles, think about pulling them apart to activate those lats. Make sure the back is nice and stable. Draw your stomach in, engage your core. Make sure you are supported through your spine. Squatting down, grab those handles, pull apart just a little bit, and then up and squeeze. And it's a deadlift variation. Very similar to using a hex bar. Great thought from my daughter. Thank you for that one, Sarah. Very smart. Use this one at home too. Adds on to that back workout. Shoulder retraction, bent over row, deadlift. Hey guys, it's my foundation fitness. No, I did not shrink. I am actually on my knees, getting ready to do our third activity, which is a shoulder press with our wheelbarrow workout. Um, by being on your knees, you're really gonna focus on support through your midsection. You really need a lot of support through your transverse abdominis. Make sure that your stomach is engaged with this one. Make sure your lower back, erector spinning muscles are engaged. Make sure your hips are tight, your glutes are engaged too. Because you really want to keep yourself a nice base of support when you're on your knees. <clears throat> the movement of this activity is very, very similar to a landmine press, where you're actually gonna press a little bit forward on a 45 degree angle, as opposed to straight up over your head. Nonetheless, you're still gonna work the anterior portion of the delts, a little bit of work for the triceps as well. So all you're gonna do, make sure you are aligned. Knees and hips and shoulders, always being aware of our kinetic chain and really, really good posture. Engage your abs. Engage your glutes, you're starting right here, and all you're doing is pressing on that 45 degree angle. Right there. Just like that. Making sure your back is nice and straight. Give this one a try at home. Really good to work those shoulders, work those triceps. I said, if you don't have exercise equipment, or you're just looking for a way to get some fitness in as you're doing some activities that you have to do anyway, this is a really good way to do it. Take about five, 10 minutes, get it done, enjoy it, try it at home. And listen, if this inspires you, figure out something to do on your own. Maybe you have a wheelbarrow, maybe you have some cinder blocks or some rocks, you can do some farmer's walks, you can do some walks, holding them up over your head. Any way you can get fitness in, especially now with all the fitness facilities being closed. This is a great time to try things. Just make sure you're being safe, okay? Stay healthy, be well. I'll see you guys real soon.